she said she was looking for big dicks. So I was like, dicks. well, never mind. I'm out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Have a nice day, ma'am. Like, can you imagine, like, just peeing in the alley like we do? And, like, we're just pissing in the alley and you gotta shit a little bit? He put his dick through that the little viewer hole yeah. thing, stuck it into a demon dimension, came back with ghost aids. When he jumps off the bridge and then the stepmom tries to fuck him. Wanna live and fuck my stepmom? Well, you know, I don't claim to be no big fancy big city podcasting man, but I think I do declare that this may be the finest flabbing haberdashery of podcasting that man himself has ever seen. God himself could not even witness such a great podcasting on this, even on the day his son was risen from the dead. In this podcast basement dungeon, there is no God, only the dads. Wow, isn't a haberdashery like a haircutting place? <laughs> Sounded nice. Do we cut hair now? Yeah. If 2019, the money has not been coming in. Uh, I don't want to point hair. fingers, but it's from well, you, Well, I mean, we cut, we cut each other's hair. Yeah. Pubic hair. Well, yeah, because, I mean, I, I, I like getting in with the buzzers real good, but when you shave the head, it goes so fast, yeah. you know? So it's well, like, you I really scare like... me with the buzzers because you've had it not cut, but pinch my nutsack on multiple I mean, occasions. you got to admit like there's... It's all you really are trying to do. I'm not trying to pinch the nutsack, but I'm not going to lie and say I don't get a gross little satisfaction out of, like, you know, just seeing, like, a pube rip out when I'm trying to... Because, you know, I got to take your ball sack and stretch it out so well, I yeah. can really just get a good, close, clean shave on there. That's I always make sure I slap some, you know... Uh, what is your shave? Yeah, but yes. what is that one? Aqua Velva? Is yeah, that, yeah, yes, slap some aqua velvet on the balls. Years yeah, old. that's what I'm saying. You know, get as some, you can tell from get, the ball. Get some British sterling. Yeah, they're hanging all the way down to your fucking knees. I got to. Yeah. I can. Well, bring I, them bad knees. I can swing them around your leg like a tether ball. Ah, uh, yes, just like a tether ball. Yeah, me and me and my cat. You know, we like to play tether ball yes, with your nutsack no, after I'm done shaving. Your cat's it. not allowed over at my house anymore. Well, I'm gonna bring him anyway. And I, I uh, we, but we go back and forth. We shave at each other's houses every other week. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, when I was like 16. I think my mom for Christmas got me like an electric razor, which mm. jokes on her. I never, I still don't need one. Actually, I've been thinking I might need one because there's days where I don't want to shave mm. and it's just coming in in gross places. Yeah. So I look really unpleasant. I just cleaned up the neck, uh, or like cleaned up the neck and the side. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let this little bit come back through. Let's yeah. See what I'm thinking I might bring the mustache through because it's getting weird enough that yeah. it's gonna get nasty. Ooh. But the, it's the, 2019, the year we get dad mustaches. It's not gonna be a dad mustache. It's gonna be like a gross teenager. Oh mustache, yeah, no, mine is but, uh, disgusting. <laughs> um but yours is like lighter hair so yeah. it makes sense you don't get to mine is like black my yeah. facial hair is black which is going to be interesting in 20 years when it comes in when yeah. i'm 63 can't wait but, for uh, you to grow like a really so, bushy black beard. my mom got me the the old electric razor with like you know the, the three parts yeah. and then it had a little little attachment that you could flip out and like line up the sideburns with um so i didn't have facial hair but i did have pubic hair so i was like well it doesn't take much to figure this out i know where this is going (laughs) yeah i tried to shave my balls with it and it pinched it not the balls wouldn't you at least try to get above the dick with it first yeah i did that but i've never been a fan of really like thinning that out too much like i worked i worked hard it took me 16 years to grow a little i I mean it depends on what type of trim it yeah yeah i'm a trimmer you know well i mean like if i'm not seeing anybody i'll let that shit grow like a rainforest but but like it's just yeah after a minute it's unpleasant it does get unpleasant after a while you can feel it like pushing on your body Oh, yeah. and then like you're sitting there yeah. trying to jack off and your dick looks smaller because because oh, yep. mm-hmm. your bush is so you gotta really big. trim around the bottom yeah i trim the. you gotta trim that b- like an inch around the base it makes your dick look yeah. bigger i trim the top with scissors and then i line up like the the crease of <laughs> got the that thighs. edge on yeah the... i got a nice hard line and then i shave the balls because yeah you just gotta, gotta shave gotta the balls fucking, no I... you can't be sitting there with but that's balls. what it's not in I, 2019 it was the first i had never shaved my balls i just thought hey you know it's hair did you, it's did you like just pop it on there or did you like stretch it and try to like well they were kind of tight i think out of nervousness so yeah. i thought if as they're they are tight, all the I knew, time i knew if they were hanging loose it would catch something but i thought since they were tight and they were younger you yeah. know what i mean yeah. back then they were smooth Firm. Yeah. yeah they weren't smooth they had enough hair for me to think i could do it but they weren't as wrinkly you know how when they get tight now they've got like ripples yeah in them, looks like, like a, a wave l- yeah like i put a do-rag on them <laughs> for a long looking time. like the back of a Look fat guy's neck. neck yeah but uh yeah it didn't it didn't go good and it only takes one time and you're like Pfft. And then I didn't, I didn't touch my pubic hair for 16 years. If you would like to see all of our pubic hair on the floor, go to www.thedapperdads.com. We have uh, pictures of clippings mm-hmm. and clips of pictures. We yes. uh, have pretty much everything you could possibly ever we want on our We have a small game where you can play whose pubic hair is whose. You'd think it would be easy, but it's surprising. It's surprisingly hard. I've got some uh, salt and pepper. We, have, we both have ginger pubes. It's yeah. insane. 
Did you know that uh, if you want to know the color of someone's pubes, you look at their eyebrows? Really? Yeah, that's a hundred percent fact. <laughs> Good <Yeah>. to know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, most of the time it's not surprising, but if you're ever like, I wonder what someone told me this, and it was in a you know a, the traditional circle of men at like a party. Yeah. And so we're all standing there. The traditional. <laughs> yeah. You know no more than it's. seven. The yeah. traditional. Yeah. If it's seven, then you've got that one guy in the back that wants to be in, but there's the, no room. The for most eight. ridiculous party circle I was ever in. We were smoking. Forty-six people. Twenty. <laughs> 27, we were smoking weed in a garage and they were passing a bong around. I was going to say, that can't be in a, in a house. No, we were smoking weed in it's a like garage, garage. And there was so many chairs in this garage. Oh, And chairs, it dude. literally was the po- people were passing around the bag and the grinder yeah, because it was running so. out before yeah. we could get to the next person. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I was sitting in a group of people and the one guy for some reason was like, you know, uh, eyebrows dictate the color of pubes. Like how they always say, do the curtains match the drapes? Just mm-hmm. look at their eyebrows. So we were all like, oh. And then we all slowly looked at each other one by one to see. <laughs> and there was one guy who had like weird, like different color eyebrows mm-hmm. that you wouldn't think of. But then you're like, now we know what your pubes look like. <laughs> so, yeah, if you're ever wondering what a uh, person's swimsuit area is coded in we'll say uh look at their like eyebrows and then uh email us at dapper dad's podcast at gmail.com with any other pubic tips you might have we anything got... pubic in general send it to the uh... i'm not gonna say that i'll, I'll say it mm, no because we're gonna get dicks the fact that we haven't got a dick yet is groundbreaking it is groundbreaking but now that we've said it you know yeah well we've said it be- we've said it before i mean eh, it's i think just... people are just too scared to send us their dicks no one's man enough to do it yeah because we'll have the email address you we've gotta got make a we've burner. got we've gotten breasts but we haven't gotten dicks it's true. Um, who? Someone. Oh, Tiana Trump on Twitter was saying to send her dick pics. So I don't know if no, she's still that's looking. A trap. That's I don't know if she's still looking. She it's said she was looking for big dicks. So big I was like, dicks. well, never mind. I'm out. Then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Have a nice Thanks, day, ma'am. Yeah. Thanks for being inclusive. 4027 Dapper. That's 4027 327 Text us pubes and leave us a voicemail about your. Uh, Leave us a voicemail about the first time you tried to trim your pubic yes. hair and how it went. We have a, sort of sort of issues that you ran across. We have a fantastic voicemail yes. uh, that we're going to be playing. We have a voicemail be a that went from, in my opinion, disappointing and confusing to great once we figured it out just moments ago. Yeah, it took it took a couple different lessons. Yeah. The, uh, obviously, some drunk fellows called the oh, dad yeah. chat. They Shocking. were banging that dad chat mm-hmm. line in true dad fashion and left us a little tidbit of information that uh, we're, we're curious to. I want to know what other people think yeah, about I'm, this as well. I'm very interested now. I'm going to be talking about this at the at the, bar, the at the bar later. I'm going to talk about that and I'm going to talk about eyebrow pubes. That's all yeah. I'm going to be talking to people. Well, now you're getting, you're you're in the sweet spot where you're just gonna be looking at eyebrows for the rest of the night. Yeah. it's like a secret. It's like I unlocked pubes for you. Uh, go to www.pubicmaster.patreon.com. Slash like the pubic master. Dads. Uh, we talk about more than pubic hair on that. Uh, there should be an episode coming out in just a few days for you. Yep. Um, from when you're if you're listening to this the day it comes out, which you should, but it turns out a lot of people don't. Yeah. Um, Odd. Go to yeah, we had some real patreon.com slash dapper dads. If you pledge five dollars or more a month, you get at least one exclusive episode a month. Uh December held a little bonus episode for mm-hmm. you. Super exclusive. Very rare. What we thought the Patreon was gonna be like, but we realized no, it's not at all. It's gonna be more um disgusting yeah way more disgusting yeah, way more personal because we say some shit on the show and i will i will be the first one to admit we've mm. crossed the line several times yeah. on this program but mm. i uh definitely de- de- there is definitely a lot less reservations on the patreon yeah. for sure like none no There's no reservations no i They're i like a out- i got i got a juicy story for the patreon that uh for the episode that's going to be coming out that yeah. will blow your mind yeah very offensive story yeah. um but yeah, go fucking go fucking do that. Get some bonuses. There's more shit coming on there. Follow us on Twitter at Dapper Dads, uh, where we make words look uniform sometimes. Uh, follow us on Instagram at Dapper Dads Podcast, where we make pictures look exquisite. That that Polaroid they got put up yesterday mm, was beautiful. beautiful. That is probably my favorite picture of us that's been taken. It's very nice. It's so because we got the pose just right for both. Yeah, of us it's, too. yeah, that, it's like identical. Yeah, it's, it was it's wonderful. Weird. We've just become one person at this point. I'm kind of just hoping it happens. You know, I just want to be inside you so deep that we're like one person. Oh, okay. I was gonna ask, do you want to just be one person? But no, you want to have sex with me to after the point marriage, where we feel like. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I don't. I don't put out before marriage. Me Obviously, either. I would have already fucked we're you. Good, you we're good. good Christian men on. You this know show. how close we've been to having sex at this point. At this point, it's amazing that we just haven't. <laughs> at this you know? point, it's just amazing at the sheer numbers. Uh, you should have. Ta- you should have taken me at the cabin when I woke up with that huge. Well, erection. you didn't tell me, and uh, 
I was trying to have a good weekend, not a life altering one. I bet it would I mean, be life altered for the life. better. Uh, debatable. Uh, How are you going to know till you try it out? <laughs> yeah, see, this is what you do, you fucking scumbag. Me? Yeah. Just because I'm self-proclaimed king of the scumbags doesn't mean that you can sit here and call me a scumbag for trying to make sweet love with you. I didn't... It didn't feel sweet. It would be. It, it would have been. like it was going to be I am sweet. a tender lover. I would be very good to you. You couldn't I'd... even tell me where our, one of our persons from our party was at. Because he just didn't flat out you. disappeared. You knew where he was. You admitted it later. Yeah, but I had so, much, bl- I had so much blood in my dick. I, my brain you know wasn't working. You know about your bloody dick. I have a brain and a penis and only enough blood to function one at a time. So yeah, I have to I choose. Know. That's, that's uh, old. Speaking of bloody penises... Um, 2018. Uh? <laughs> yeah, speaking of Tim Allen and bloody penises, and bloody penises. Uh, Tim Allen's new show on Fox is back on the air, or it's a new show that's on the air where he does the same thing he's always done. Regardless, he's our sponsor. The yeah. new show is it? Man, what is it? Lot. He's, he's also my sponsor. Called? Yeah, he because he is recovering obviously after yeah. that mustache and bricks of coke and all oh, the snitching. The bricks whipping the brick, um, Tim. What is that show called? Last Man Standing? Yeah. Is yeah. that, it's back or it's a different show? I think it's back I've on never a different seen it. network. Yeah. Because I think Fox, Fox picked it yeah. up. Fox, yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fox, which we're, of course, we're Fox was like, t- of course, Fox was like an aging Tim Allen yelling about how uncomfortable he is with change. Let's do it. That's our demographic audience. Yeah, we are white in, guys that don't like change. Hey, we can't we can't talk shit about Fox. We are in talks with Fox to stop talking to Fox. If Fox, they've told us please stop. And I've told Fox that they need to stop looking so good. <laughs> yeah, we just go in the uh, the Fox offices and just ogle and well, ogle men, of course. Of course. Well, I'm professional. Well, I'm ogling everyone professionally. It's, it's yeah, my but you can't say you're ogling. Well, women. we're a non-discriminatory agency. We can't just be out here just just ogling only I'm men. I'm ogling we, furniture. We have at to the Fox. We, we have to ogle men, women, children. Uh, not children. Okay, you said everything. Non-discriminatory in a legal okay. way. Okay. But so we can all, we can uh, we can ogle the art. Uh, uh-huh. We can ogle the furniture. Mm. Uh, definitely the water coolers at Fox. Oh, yeah. I also want to go into the employee bathrooms and ogle those a little bit. They're probably nice. They're, I want to go in the executive. Oh bathrooms. yeah. Well, I want to go into the CEO's office and ogle there for a little bit. <laughs> oh, I'm picturing yeah. a very large Mr. Burns style office. Oh yeah, of course. Big polar bear in the mm-hmm. corner. Uh, rotation of lawyers that comes out from behind a bookcase. Mm-hmm. You know, and they're definitely going to sick the lawyers on us. Yeah. But we're bringing lawyer dogs. And he's got a bulletproof vest this time, so that's fuck you, bitch. Fox. Yeah, we won't lose another lawyer dog. How many lawyer dogs are we up to? It's like every dog in like history, like Air Bud mm-hmm. or the Bush or the Bush's Beans dog was real, and he just he died. died. Yeah, R- um, R- R.I.P. Bush's R. I. P. Beans dog, whatever that dog's name was. Rest in power, King. But uh, yeah, like Air Bud, there's been like 17 Air Buds. Yeah, how many? La- was there only one last year? Was there multiple lassies? I gotta say, I think everything had multiple. I don't believe Bush. I don't believe that was the only dog, to be honest. So are you? But do you think this was like the last dog that died? And the Bushes guy was like, I can't have any more dead yeah. dogs on my hands, and so they're just like retiring the I character. Think they, I think it was more so like kids aren't look. Well, the millennials don't want the talking dog anymore. They want memes. <laughs> and- Isn't a talking dog a meme? It could be, but they weren't marketing it right. But they Bush made, would I've have seen a lot memes of memes made up with Bush's baked beans. No, what Bush's needs to do, Bush's baked beans links up with Bush beer. They make a beer bean scenario. I don't know. I'm just spitballing here. I like here, it. But trust me. I like a Bush light with beans eating, floating in you it. You know who's, yeah, see, now I hate that. But With the bean like, juice and everything? No, I'm thinking like it's made with with the beer. You know how you like boil brats and beer? Beer oh, boil brats. Oh, yeah. So you tell, so. You got some baked beans. Like how they do like. Beer baked beans. Like how they do like the infused beers. Like that. Like there's that oyster stout out there. That they no, make you're going in the shit. other direction. No, I'm, I'm saying, saying they need to infuse the, the like, how the, like how they do hops in beer, but use the Bush's baked beans. No, you're going the other direction. I'm saying we put the beer beer in the beans that makes more sense so t- you don't want a bean flavored beer <laughs> said who said i mean people will try it it'll be an novelty you know, we could time. sell bush's beans beer to hipsters and they would buy it all just okay because we it's a could weird do this beer. easily we just buy a six pack of bush we open the beers we pour a little bit of beans in there bush's baked beans we shake it up and we give it to strangers I like this. For I like seven this a lot. dollars a bottle. I think we should also mail some to people, but like for an expedited charge, because we'll have to like refrigerate it and send it to them overnight with some dry ice and can stuff like that. Can you mail beer? Who hey, said I can't? If you can mail beer, Australia guy, uh, send us the real Duff beer because it's in Australia. Send, send us some. Kid du- in touch. Send us some Duff and send me some Vey Bay Long Oh yes. Yeah. 
And fucking Fuck. there's oh, some that's a vape. There's some fucking drink in like England. Ah, I can't fucking think of what it is, but it's like it's supposed to be fucking crazy strong and people do crazy shit off of it. Someone that I know was talking about it and I watched YouTube videos and it's like people drinking them and they get like crazy drunk. I think it's like a beer. I'm really I'm really mm. dropping the ball on the details yeah. here. But I think it's like they're four loco, and you can't get it in America because they're just like, fuck, no, you don't need it. But if this. someone mailed it to us as a gift, I don't see why we couldn't receive it. Yeah, them, I went, you know? once I watched all the videos, I was like, I have to, I want to say it's like box something. It's box something. I don't know. Someone mm. fucking fact check and get back to us. But, uh, if we got yeah, I was UK like, how can fans. I get my hands on this? Yeah. Like, I have to have it. I definitely want Australia guy to send us some beer. Yeah. That would be fantastic. Yeah. Get in, get in touch with us. Was it, was it Barry? beer gut berry sure I feel like that's what it was tell you what we'll do it australia guy we'll do a trade with you if you send us some good australian beers that we're looking for we'll send yeah. you some something from america and this is all alleged by the way yeah allegedly if we can mail beer i don't know i've heard you can't mail beer for sure how do you like, know like companies can but i don't think you i can't just mail some beer like i can do it but it's not they ship food legal. why can't you ship beer because who's it going to there's no way to prove you know what i mean companies can but, but I like, I don't even, get why you couldn't just ship like some beer to somebody. That doesn't like I don't understand. Because it's there's a law that you can't ship beer. Yeah, because it's an age restricted item. It'd be like shipping. You can't ship cigarettes. You can't ship a gun to someone. <laughs> what do you mean you can't ship cigarettes? <laughs> you can't mail cigarettes. They don't don't like the people mail cigarettes to like people in the army when yeah, they're like I, serving and stuff. Like I that? think like you. Like, you can do all of these things, but it's illegal. You can send lean in the mail. You can mail your Dirty abandoned. Ass yeah. Man. You can mail the abandoned house down your street a bunch of weed and then pick it up when no one's looking. We all know how it works. Go on Instagram. Yeah. It's everywhere. But uh, it's, a, it's all illegal. Yeah. So, whatever. Hmm. Anyway, just doesn't sound. I was gonna say we we lost a lot of things in 2018, including the Bushes dog. But one of the most tragic losses that I think we just weren't able to personally bring it up until we've we finally gotten over it. But there was a grieving process involved. We held each other. It was another moment we almost kissed. Honestly, one of the biggest losses of my life. It's definitely one of the since I was younger. Yeah, I, you know, I found a, I found myself through it. You know I, what I mean? Not only did I learned I, a lot about I found me. myself, I expressed myself through it, expressed myself several ways through aggressively, it. Expressed aggressively myself. expressed myself. It uh, I cleaned was, up all the expressions. Uh, some would some might say that it helped shape me as a person and who I am just with the just I would say that. how I was able to access it and things I was able to do with it. You yeah. know, I uh, what, what we're talking about here, folks, is Tumblr banned pornography on their site. Yeah. A moment. Just, uh, a moment. Of a silence. moment of silence. <sighs> where will we get our black and white gifts that are way better than the video ends up being oh, how come i can't get a 4k gif of distension anymore it breaks my heart you know how many i times? gotta go to reddit i don't want to do that i, I just know go i've to been on reddit now same and it's just not the I same i went on xnxx and yeah. everyone who looks at it should be put in jail okay you know what i want to fight you about this because yeah. i saw it's that i was crazy. i almost threw my it's, phone because i was so mad you at you should have thrown your phone because no one should be on that site that is exclusively my site no yes. that means like i'm not even joking that means there's something wrong with you what do you because mean? i went on that site just to browse because i lost tumblr yeah Pornhub was not giving me what i wanted that Day. usually doesn't i was looking no it does you just can't use it too frequently because you're caught up with all the videos yeah and you don't want to just go searching through like <laughs> you don't need that stress in your life i don't know and i like I don't going always, down the rabbit hole uh, i'll dabble in a rabbit hole on Pornhub because i go over to your site you know what i've seen a lot of pregnant porn and i was not in anything that would justify pregnant porn now here's like, right what, off the bat there was because just a pregnant what lady. because on the main page of xnx the main page it's was disgusting it's, yeah it's well it's all recently uploaded videos well, when you first never, go there that's no what no you no, they have an ever. algorithm on there now it's a new algorithm when you start searching for things specifically that starts coming up on the main page when you come back because like i noticed when i look for a specific in, category I'm incognito now, nothing's coming back. i'm never incognito yeah, because i live problem. life on the edge and I don't care no, who sees what that, I jack that off to. That place is disgusting. I'm not. What There's porn no. site isn't disgusting? Yeah, but I don't need everything thrown. I don't need to. I don't need to think oh, I'm gonna jerk off, pop onto a site and see a pregnant woman. That right is off the of risk the you take when you no, jack off online. I go to Pornhub. The first things they show is what everybody's watching, and they're usually pretty good. 
And then there's then there's a category for you, which mine is always ebony. And again, I use incognito. Respect. So I'm, I mean, it is. I'm down with it, but it's always like kind of like really sketchy, like yeah. crack whore alley yeah. ebony. Yeah. How come I can like, never? How uh, the worst is you ever see ghetto gaggers come up when yeah, you're searching I for see shit? A lot, <laughs> a lot oh, of yeah. it, and it's really so upsetting. Many. Yeah. Because if you watch like, one of those, those guys are so racist. Yeah. So and it's very just, racist. And it's all really just aggressive and it's always it's like the most amateur porn is like it's just always very you got girls weird. puking in dog bowls and shit and i'm like yeah. no i don't need this not today not maybe, maybe later, later. Yeah, yeah. yeah let me get a couple let me out. look through let me get numbed up a little bit and but then yeah we'll come porn back. hub shows you most viewed and then like what's the other one like highest rated mm-hmm. which are usually hand in hand yeah. but they're all good too many family things but it's just an epidemic that's just yeah that's just it's the just, times we live in unfortunately no but then yeah and then when you go down it's most like recently uploaded mm-hmm. and those are that's the gamble on yeah. any site is the most recently uploaded because you get like okay i will give you that maybe x and xx could be better if it was built more like Pornhub, where they had the highest rated up first and all this other and it's shit. just a very i have a problem just with anything aesthetically that site it looks like shit you know what I i'm mean? not saying it doesn't. It looks like it's I from the 90s I, yeah i can't say yeah. that it doesn't it's just like uh, it's just confi- it's just, I, it's so many, pornhub is so sleek it's so familiar it's my home i, I just, walk in i just i wave to everybody I, well that's I how i down, feel about I x and xx that was yeah, my but first sight in and people are shooting up and the door wasn't even locked here's just yeah. and i still and i still smell and like the trap everywhere. i can't judge i it's just it's fucking crazy it's now E-Funked. you ever been to E-Funked? Uh-uh. <laughs> I don't go to e I've, n- I've never been. There's one I want to say, but I don't think I should even like point people in the direction. Just, just yeah, just say it. <laughs> just, we can bleep it out. Bleep it. Are yeah. we back to bleeping? Yeah, we're back. Yeah, right? You've been I, there? Uh, You've been there? I've heard of it, but yeah. I've never been. It's not good. It doesn't sound good. If you're on there, you're looking for something you shouldn't be looking no. for anymore. You should look for Jesus at that point. Yeah. And I don't throw that around lightly as a man who's never looked for Jesus. Yeah. But on that site, there's a couple sites I've stumbled onto, and I'm like, maybe I do like God. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's one of them. And we will censor it out, because it's just... The dark web will make you love Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, that's what that's what that site feels like, like a step above, like how you see that chart of mm-hmm. like the sites and how they get closer. And then you get into the deep web. That's one that's just right above it. What I can't something that bothers me when you're scrolling through porn videos and you're just looking through like recently uploaded and shit like that. When I see shit like girl gets smashed with little dick or like yeah. guy with little dick gets shamed. Yeah. It's like all I the don't... videos I'm uploading. OK, <laughs> chill. Well, I mean, I run know, a lucrative business. I, I just didn't want to see your naked body until our wedding night. And it was really upsetting. You've having basically to... seen it. Basically. Yeah. But I haven't seen you that piece it together. I mean, I could piece it together. I haven't seen that schlong in full effect yet. Well, it's those videos with the little dicks. Well, I couldn't bring myself to watch them. My heart was broken. Yeah, it's weird. I'm not a fan either of the recent influx of the women hiding their their faces the am the nice the amateur shit's getting real nice yeah but they're hiding all their faces yeah i'm I a big see fan of this one woman it's like lulu or something uh-huh and she's always on pornhub that's what pornhub has a better community because mm. they like embrace amateur shit that yeah it's like a little past amateur but she's got a guy with tattoos on the leg and a nice hog on him and she's just getting crazy they had sex on the beach and it was just beautiful mm. but they never show her face and i want to see a pretty they face also i want to see having... a pretty face with a pretty body they also keep having threesomes where, like, the other, like, he's not clearly not allowed to bang the other girl. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. She might, like, suckle his knob just a little bit. But I'm like, come on. You're bringing her in. You're filming it. Fuck both just, of them. Yeah, come on. For me. <laughs> for, for, for the viewers. I bought the t-shirts. For the fans. Come on. For the fans. Fuck her for the fans. Yeah, they're always out in public. Can't wait till we start getting those chants. Fuck her for the fans. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I get those chants, but I'm always in the wrong place. Yeah. Fucker for the fans. There's only dudes here. Well, and then they all start unbuckling their and pants. And everyone just looks at you like yeah. you're supposed to do and it. I'm like, and you're listen, like, guys, there's a lot of lines that we haven't drawn between fans, and some people feel too comfortable with us, but we will not fuck all of you. No. Just a couple of them. Yeah, until... Over I'm, the course of time. Then I'm going to get some Gatorade, and then we'll be back. Yeah. I mean, get I my can't ele- fuck six dudes at one time. I mean, yeah, I need to get my electrolytes back I just back fucked up. six dudes at <laughs> one time. time. Six cocks at one time. Get yeah. the fuck one time. But uh, yeah, Tumblr. I just, I don't know. What to that do. Tumblr's where I found my love for for distension at. 
because I was just yeah. that black and white gif of just that dick and then just mm, and it's and like they always like <sighs> I said you'll spend you'll throw a whole Sunday around oh hell finding yeah. the source of just one of those gifts and the video is trash there so is, that means that mm-hmm. people were so artful to take a splice of like a 15 minute video something they, they knew they were able to pick out the one good moment and loop it and put it in black and white which for some reason it's just so makes tasteful. all porn better yeah it's just way better and white. when you see just a glistening pussy in 4k mm. black and white it makes me believe in god again well like sometimes rough sex like i'll come across a video and i'm like that's getting a little fucking crazy yeah but if it's in black and white something about it just softens the blow yeah. you know what i mean softens the blow the you know blow. what i'm saying she's just fucking in fact i know a listener of this program who ran a very nice sex blog back in the day <laughs> can i make a guess sure is it emilio no but <laughs> shout out Emilio. shout out emilio he probably has an active sex blog i mean going he right constantly now. posts clips to whack off to and i yeah. can't tell you how many times i'm really bad on twitter at not reading and just clicking links i don't know what i'm looking for uh-huh. but i'll be in the worst place just clicking on a on a picture link and then it's just it's what I want, but yeah. it's not what everyone, it's not what my grandma should be looking over no. my shoulder seeing. Yeah, if you're interested in a porn blog, check out Clips to Whack Off To from yes. our good friend Emilio. Yeah. Uh, it is he also ongoing... writes about movies, but who Yeah, he cares, writes right? about movies. We're, all just, movie, we're here for we're the porn sure recommendations. Yeah. He's a, I like the seasonal ones. He's, you know what I mean? He said something to me this week. What did he say <laughs> to me? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's how you feel after an interaction with him. He'll, uh, he'll bring it through. But he always We were talking through. about one of his ex-girlfriends, and I said, name one thing more boring than that girl. You ever missed that pussy? He said, nah. Now, the blonde pog I was fucking for a month in 2012, yes. <laughs> yeah. And I think that's where we're all at as We people. all have blonde, blonde pogs we think about a lot. Yeah, well, of course we all have. Oh, man. And I, oh, <laughs> blonde pog. Oh, that what a beautiful, so nice. What a beautiful word. Pog? Yeah. It's so, yeah. It's just, it it's also a, has the nostalgia of the 90s games. Yeah, the Pog. Yeah, the Pogs. <laughs> Behold, the yeah. ultimate Pog, and then it's just a big ass. <laughs> just a fat ass. <laughs> you talking about a slammer? <laughs> just, yeah. Just a fat ass. That'll get you all the Pogs. Whipping. I was at a, uh, I was at an antique mall, and they said, drawer full of Pogs, and I opened it. <laughs> severed asses. <laughs> just Crazy nothing thing. but severed asses. Yeah. Between that and all the Nazi memorabilia that Ugh. they were selling, which is also illegal, I think. Yeah, very I was like, illegal I won't be sell. coming back here as I checked out 50 separate asses. asses. I was like, I, you know what I was thinking? He goes, the 90s game? I said, yeah. He goes, no, only the asses. He goes, <laughs> everyone comes in thinking it's the 90s game. <laughs> He was like, it was my game in the 90s. That was before we called them bugs. Used to take them one at a time. Get one for each hand. <laughs> Just he's very old, so even in the nineties, that's impressive. Yeah, for him. dude's like a hundred and seven. <laughs> yeah, it's like crazy old. And we used just... to chop the ass off a pog and roll it down the street. The game, or <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everything he says. Oh, I used to love getting a, getting a group of my friends back in the nineties, get in the basement and just pull out a pog and just go to town on it. The game, maybe <laughs> possibly Every reference. I had this slammer that had the indent on it for your fingers. And you're like, the game? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I remember the Simpsons once. He's like, yeah, I had a Simpsons slammer. The game? Not at all. She was yellow. Vitamin deficiency. Didn't eat enough meat. Her, her liver? Real <laughs> shitty. Her Jaundice? Eye- crazy. Jaundice to shit. Her eyeballs looked like they were full of pee. <laughs> Found her at the hospital. She was still DTF. Took her Down. to the IHOP. <laughs> Yeah, got it right out of the... I said, you know what you need? You need to get off these machines. You need to come down to me. International House of Pancakes, I believe. <laughs> Maybe oh, burgers. Well, back in my day, we remember. called it the International House of Pog, if you're picking up yeah. what I'm laying down. The game? Maybe. <laughs> Took her off life sport. Died. Tragic. The game? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Every, the game? Maybe. <laughs> Every time you think it's the game, it's a fat ass woman. Every time you think it's a fat ass woman, woman it's, it's the game. game. It's very But it's tricky. the rapper, the game every yeah. time. Yeah. Every time. Every time every someone time. says a pog, they're either talking about a big fat ass woman or, or the rapper, yeah. the game. You remember he had that tattoo of a butterfly? That was his favorite pog. Well, because he covered up the pog tattoo on yeah. his face with, with a butterfly. LA. Yeah. yeah. And then in LA, he just keeps laying those tattoos. And yeah. my grandpa said, you say when I was a kid, you keep painting the wall, eventually it's going to get too thick and close. I don't know what it meant, but I think it's about the game's tattoos. The game? Yeah. <laughs> no, a fat ass white woman. <laughs> Yeah, to quit going to that antique mall, how to mix signals. Yeah. 
Last time I was there, he was trying Think to... Think he's related to the Beef King? <laughs> oh, yeah. He's his grandpa. <laughs> Fucking beefy still. It makes too much sense. <laughs> yeah. You can't throw my name on a conspiracy until I'm sure, okay? <laughs> we also can't reference Patreon episodes. Sure we can, because then people want to oh, yeah, go do the Patreon. Or if you want to know, the, ta- the, if you know the tale of Beefcake, yeah. you need to go subscribe to the Patreon already. We'll never forget about that beefcake. How could how could I, I ever forget? That, uh, at that fucking antique mall, the guy was trying to help an old woman find a hat, and he just kept going. I think her name was like Maggie, and he kept going, Maggie, this hat. And then he goes, she wants. He screamed behind me, which was startling. And then he had a green <laughs> a hat full of asses. She, guy yelling. <laughs> yeah, she. He goes, she wants a green hat. So I just keep finding green hats and seeing if it's the color she wants. None of them were. So he just kept screaming, Maggie. That's kind of sweet in its hat. own way. You know, I was fucking obnoxious, and I wanted to beat lots, up. Maggie. Lots of things about love are obnoxious, and sometimes you do got to beat up somebody's girlfriend. She was very old. They were both very old. There's I, no love left in their lives. I mean, you don't know that. Maybe they do. No. Know. You get 50, there's no love left. You sure you don't know how to love past 50? No. I'm just saying it doesn't last past 50. You know how to love, but you don't give a fuck about it anymore. I don't give a fuck about anything anymore. See? You're 50. <laughs> we figured out your age. Yay. I'm not 50 because I still love. I have a lot of love left to give. I love very just much. To, yeah, you love too much. I love way too That's much. That's why I won't I? marry you. Because you're afraid of the too much love? Yeah, you're just giving it to everyone. Everyone and everything. If you would just... Every single thing in your life, you love it. Because... What do you hate? This is like that episode of Simpsons with Flanders where they couldn't figure out what he hated except his parents. Okay, let's... Let, let's Mosquito uh, bites, they're great for scratch. So see, see if you can figure out something I hate. Mosquito bites. I mean, I don't hate them, but they're okay. annoying. I, now I'm on... See, that, I can't play this. I hate mosquitoes yeah. more than anything. I wish they would die. I mean, just You've try, to, what they just do try to, to find something I hate. Me. I, how could I hate you? You're my brother. I love you. Yeah, then why do you always get drunk and scream? You don't scream. You go to the corner of the room and you whisper, I just fucking hate him so much. I'm so sick of his shit. Because you won't marry me. But half the time you're talking to me. And I'm like, who? And you're like, drama. <laughs> this is what people have done. <laughs> I've had this happen before where they're like, he's just so fucking stupid. Who? Drama. You mean me? Yeah. This is a real life That thing. fucking guy. This happens frequently. I'm, I'm, just, I just, I'm not a hater. I don't hate stuff. See, that's not healthy. Why? Because there's things I dislike. I mean, there's things I dislike. No, there's you things love that too I, much. I mean, I love a lot. I don't think I love too much. I think I love. I this think. Isn't. I think I love more than most, but I think I love an appropriate amount. No, it's too much. How is it too much? Give me an example. Because hating keeps you balanced. I do hate grounded. things. No, I'm not going to continue down this road. This isn't what the people don't pay for. <laughs> mm, fair enough. We'll talk about it on Patreon. All the Patreon is just us figuring out. All of our personal, I hate too much, you love too much, why can't we meet in the middle? Because you won't marry me. I don't. I'm not ready. <sighs> you don't I'm want only to 21. or you're not ready. I'm only 21. Is that That's your age? Young to get married. Yeah, well, I just started trying. I mean, I'm 50. That's why I'm so crazy. I mean, I'm that. 50. I'm trying to settle down. Yeah, you know, fucking, I think I'm I think There's going to be a huge to... gap. This is like 90 day fiance, mm, well, which I mean, means it's perfect. But we've known way. each other longer than 90 days? Yeah, those people know. You got to watch the show, man. You just can't. I'm telling you, about, here's what we got to do. Next time I come over, we'll watch 90 Day Fiance, mm-hmm. and then you can do a private DJ set for <laughs> me, and we can make sweet love. It's, yeah, it sounds like you're getting a lot out of this. Yeah, well, I mean, you're also going to get a lot out I of it. I come to your you house and what do I get? Nothing. I mean, you you're, you just say my bed's too dirty to fucking. Yeah, well, you turn the lights off completely. Well, yeah, because I'm nervous. And like, I, I mean, I'm nervous about my too, body. Yeah, we're all nervous about our bodies, but it's too dark. You have to at least open the window and have the moonlight shining a little bit. I don't even know where I'm putting anything. I don't know what I'm touching. I mean, that's kind of the fun sometimes. You just no, grab it in the once dark. You're, and... Once you we're familiar, you don't fuck the first time and turn all of the lights So you want to fuck black. for the first time and just... Just a well no, lit room. I never want to fuck in a well lit room. Despite how much I always want to be in a well lit room, <laughs> you I don't want to fuck in a well lit room. So no wh- matter how long we've been. So fucking. what about like the light from like a sensey thing plugged into the wall? Is that a is what? That good? You know, like those wax melter things where you like plug them into the wall oh, and it melts. Like, well, the what's fr- it gonna smell like? Is now my biggest concern. Mm, what Lights want, out the window. What do you want it to smell like? I don't know. I'd like a cupcake or a fresh baked cake, a cookie. You, you want like a dessert scent? Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm a big fan of yeah, like the cookie candles mm. or the cake candles. So, so if I got like a nice birthday cake candle, yeah, nice I'm scentsy with hard. the light from that. So you the room smells that's like birthday what, cake. That's what those are called. I mean, I think You're they're just crazy. called wax I'm melters. But they're the first wax melter I ever heard about was from a company called Scentsy. Ah, and they so made... we're referencing the first makers of things when we talk. Well, about because they were things. called like Scentsy melts and like Scentsy burners and stuff like that. And my like way back in the day when I was like in high school, my girlfriend's sister sold the Scentsy stuff, 
And so she was always trying to like get me to buy some, and I'm like, I don't have money. For this, this is this. riveting podcast. So. <laughs> Just telling the story. Sense. You're yeah, the one. That's a shitty story. Well, I mean, get you're, it together. I mean, man. Get, you get it together. You're the one who can't fuck me I in the dark. It together. I'm not fucking anyone in the dark. We need to stop talking so much about us fucking. Because imagine <laughs> tuning in for the first time and you hear this. No one wants to hear about. At least that. we're inclusive. I but I think we're excluding some people if we're only fucking. Well, I mean, who do we want to include then? everyone else <laughs> so like anybody yeah that's what i'm saying i won't fuck anyone in the pitch black nor the complete light you need to find it i like to turn a tv on <clears throat> that's the TV, best option. tv light's not bad tv is yeah. always on i'm always fucking with the tv on. but you got to pick something good on the tv though no because you're fucking well that's what i'm saying you got to pick something that's not gonna like be weird or distracting i like... lost my virginity to king of the hill uh there was no tv on when i lost my virginity yeah we've i think we've discussed this yeah Yours was in pitch black. No, mine was in a well lit room. <laughs> oh yeah, that's so. During the I daytime. Oh no. Yeah. You did everything wrong. It explains a lot. I did everything so wrong. I don't think you understand how wrong my first time was. Oh, I I know. I've talked to the woman at great length. I would. Love We're doing it. a separate podcast. That's just uh, you know how like it's popular now, like that guys we fucked podcast, and mm-hmm. all these people just talk about like all the fucking they've done. I came across a podcast that's just a guy talking about all the sex he's had, which is just kind of odd bullshit. Um, Cause I'm over here having no sex, and this guy's over there having all the sex and over I time. I hate him for it. Um, but yeah, I'm working on a podcast series where I talk to women that you've. I was gonna say pleasured, but we both know. That <laughs> yeah, that's we both know right. that ain't right. That's a whole like the overarching theme. Gonna get that. that girl who where I ate all the steaks in her house. Yeah, well, that again is a is a reoccurring theme of. Uh, the disgusting person you are. We're working on a title. We can't figure it out. Cause... Making a scumbag? No. We, no one likes making a murder. Would you rather... I came up with this recently. Okay. Every time you piss, have to take a little bit of a shit. Or every time you shit, you come a little bit. <laughs> just to, Is it a pleasurable just, come? It's like... It's like when you're jerking off to the wrong scene, mm. where like it still feels good, but it's but that's it, why it's, it's just a little wanted. bit, and yeah, it's kind of like stifled. Mm. It's not, yeah, it's not super enjoyable. I'll take that over the shitting every time you pee. Yeah, because I don't like just that. a little bit, but I don't like that. That's even worse. If I'm gonna like take a shit, yeah. I want to take a shit. No, you it's know? just a little unfortunate shit. No, but if yeah, definitely calm when I'm shitting. Yeah. Then you're hard. Also, <laughs> shit happens. So, and. I would rather shit with a hard on than have to take a little shit every time I piss. Because you know how much I piss this when I got to piss. This is just me um, trying to take all the gross things we talk about and package it into one. <laughs> would you rather? I'm noticing. Um, yeah, but then you're in public restrooms taking a shit here. Just come a little bit in there. I mean, it is what it is. Like and people know. People do know. Yeah, everyone who's in the bathroom with you knows. How do they know? They just sense it. It's in the air. <laughs> you can smell nut in the air. <laughs> And not like old Walmart bathroom. Hey, nut. yo, is somebody <laughs> doing a production of the Nutcracker in here? Yeah, and okay, yeah, occasionally they will try to get a rise out of you, hmm. but you're already fully risen. I mean, if I'm already fully risen, then what's the problem? I mean, it's up to you. Do you want to be taking a shit? If somebody wants to roast me for if like, somebody, hey, this guy's in there coming while he shits. Because then every time, well, you... then I'm just gonna get off the shitter and just run at them with my big hard dick and scare them away. <laughs> they won't be scared. I've seen that. Hmm. Um, then every time you jerk off or have sex you're going to be thinking about shitting it's going to make you feel like you oh it's like a pavlovian a thing because yeah. like it's just going to happen course. all the time yeah Ugh. yeah but i really hate it when i feel like i'm going to shit when i'm pissing yeah but it's just a little bit you'll get used to it yeah but like, but you always have to sit down when you pee that's then. what i'm saying you know i don't want to always sit when i piss well you can like press up against a urinal i don't know but what, what i'm saying want. like i, I want to not have to shit while i piss that just i hate that well, so has, much yeah, then come while you shit i mean like can you imagine like just knows. peeing in the alley like we do and like we're just pissing in the alley and you gotta shit a little bit <laughs> yeah i think it would be funny <laughs> <laughs> yeah Could but what imagine? if it was happening to you yeah that's what i mean it'd still be funny i'd probably keep like napkins on me or something to take care of the and nobody wants that i'm just throwing napkins covered shit everywhere (laughs) i'm not gonna like throw them like i'm throwing a parade (laughs) i'm gonna put them carefully by the small pile of shit i've left in the alley but imagine if we're all peeing in the alley together like we've done and you turn around and i'm like squatting and just a little like a rabbit shit we'll say (laughs) I'm shitting out a full-grown rabbit, and it's like pulling a rabbit out of a hat, but, like, the reverse. That is not a little shit. 
<laughs> it's a small baby rabbit. Oh, that's somehow worse. I yeah. don't like that one. And it's covered in shit. That's what I'm and saying. it hops away and then it gets ran over by a car. Is this what you want? No. Okay. Nothing. <laughs> so in we're this... all coming while we shit. Like... I guess because I don't want a little baby bunny to come out of your ass and get hit by a car. No, that's a separate what you ask. <laughs> little Lola bunny, she eat all my curb and she love carrots, and then a big truck just hits the little bunny. Yeah, you made that sad. Yeah. You made it Fine, sad. Fine. The rabbit comes out of my ass, covered in shit, but it lives forever. This is forever. Gross. We're just gross at this point. We're just gross. We have people. Nothing to talk about, so it's just gross. We're gross people. People should submit to us so that we uh, don't just talk about shit and cum and whatnot. Speaking of cum, do we want to get into this voicemail? Uh, it's pretty early on, I guess, so throw it out there. Fuck it. We have nothing to talk about. <laughs> hey, I just want to know if Dutch rudders are gay, because technically we're only touching our own dick. So, yeah, if you touch your own dick, it can't be gay. It's like jerking off with an assist. And the fists aren't gay. I guess they have any. I really wonder what that last part was going to yeah, be. Yeah, I'm real curious Someone about that. Someone took the phone away from him. When did that come through? I don't remember. Doesn't it not say? I didn't look. Because I, like, I feel like that's it. Like a New I Year's Eve can't read. voicemail. December 28th at midnight. I mean, the timing is right. The timing is accurate. I want to know what these men were doing talking about Dutch rudders at the witching hour. I do love when we get voicemails like that, that someone is having a conversation and someone goes you know who will answer that this podcast i yeah. listen to and they call drunkenly and leave it and hopefully forget about it until so right now for those of you that are unaware of what a dutch rudder is because uh we had to look this up yeah. before the show well, i couldn't understand what he was saying i kept thinking he was saying something about people who were running and i was like runners aren't gay inherently <laughs> yeah inherently <laughs> like, gays can run for yeah. my understanding i mean yeah if they're healthy ways. people yeah. yeah i mean yeah if they have legs and shit yeah but i mean if you're like you know an 800 pound gay guy i don't think you're doing a whole lot of running i bet he could still do a quick run oh, I mean, quick he, short run. A, a, a good sprint maybe well, i don't know i've seen this show 600 pound life yeah have you seen those people you think they can run <laughs> that no actually i take it all back i was i was 400 pounds at one point yeah isn't that you, crazy? You were not running. No, I was not running at all. I was running into Your a heart the grave. Was <laughs> yeah, too much. <laughs> we both had good ones there. <laughs> running right into the grave. That is the way I want to die. Yeah. Fully prepared, and I just run right into a grave. I accepted it. I was ready Could to you die. Imagine jogging towards the grave, and then right, right when you leap into it, just blowing your brains out. The perfect suicide. The some perfect could say. suicide. We figured it out. But then one of us has to be there to bury the other one, put the dirt on. Them. Oh, I would like if I can really, really tinker with this. Yeah. Running it towards an open grave. But there's a noose hanging from a tree above the open grave. So you grave. jump into the noose. I jump the into the noose while I'm choking out and dying. I light the noose on fire and time it just right so I die and it I fall into the grave. You see, you see what I'm, what the pic, the beautiful portrait I'm painting here. It's uh, it's like a horror movie, but yeah, I can picture it. I mean, it's not that scary. It's to me, perfect. it is. I love it's you. It's perfect. But I'm okay. I love you too. But if you pulled off some shit like that, I'd be like, that's my fucking boy. It's that's fucking that's crazy. Like that would be. You know how fucking, like, you can't get that. You know what I mean? Here's, here's, I'm going to add one more step to this uh, just please. to make it a little bit better. Let's just keep going until it's so far gone. You're in the noose. Uh huh. I like choking it. Choking out. Yup. You light the noose. Uh huh. Right as you're about to die and the noose is about to fall, you blow your brains out. Okay. Oh, I would like if I if the noose could start to fall and I could still somehow manage to blow my brains out. You know what I mean? So have it have like a gun noose. set up to like yeah. blow your brains yeah. out as you're falling yep. down. But you know what? Let's set up a Rue Goldberg machine yeah. of suicide I, here. Yeah. I so basic. So ba I would also like if we're setting up a Rue Goldberg <laughs> machine, I would also like to fall onto some big spikes. I was too. gonna say the yeah. grave has to be full of nails or spikes or like blades some or broken glass. Just after, yeah. Yeah. All those needles, sharp things. just all yeah. kinds of shit. Needles full of AIDS. Ne yeah. Well, at Let's that point, like go. you live through both the news and the shot, and you fall in, and you're still fine, but you get AIDS. You don't even die. And that's you're what like, kills well, you. Fuck. You mean grit? Yeah, you just could you, that's my that's my biggest goal is to set up something so perfect and have it fail just that's even the, more perfectly in like such a oh did you hear about drama he got AIDS oh my goodness unprotected sex no a very complex suicide, suicide scenario <laughs> he was trying to hang himself light the news on fire then a gun blows his brains out then he'd fall into uh, glass spikes AIDS needles piranhas uh, yeah everything There's went wrong except the AIDS and a shark. yeah. The shark ate the alligator that 
and then they all got AIDS. AIDS. Yeah, they and had, all the animals had just AIDS. A big AIDS soup in there. Um, they had to they had to close that cemetery <laughs> down. It was too haunted. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. Haunted, haunted. by the ghosts of AIDS infested animals. Yeah. Nobody could even go and mourn their grandmother anymore. Yeah, had to dig up the bodies and move them. I heard they're trying to put condos there, <laughs> building stuff on a weird gay animal burial ground. I mean, isn't that what this country was founded on? I thought that's what this podcast was founded on, at least. Isn't this dungeon built on an ancient gay animal burial ground? No, it's above us. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's what that schmell is. (laughs) Yeah, we keep it, you know, you don't want to fuck with that. We've all seen all of the movies. Yeah. And we just keep it above us. Yeah, we're respectful to it. Yeah, we we praise it. I tread lightly. Yeah. I sacrifice (laughs) to it. Can't wait till one of those coffins just falls on the table. (laughs) Then we'll have it. That's a submission. Just a chimp riddled with AIDS. Just, yeah. <laughs> just springs out. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! I bet people would watch the YouTube. If, more, if a chimp more. riddled with a, if a chimp corpse riddled with AIDS fell through the ceiling and out of the a dome, casket, out of a <laughs> like it has to fall and yeah. then the door opens up and it's just <laughs> he's in a little tuxedo too. Yeah. It's just like, who thought to bury space yeah. chimp? <laughs> yeah, that's the kind of they buried him in a Gucci suit. That's the Steals kind of the Gucci suit from the monkey, <laughs> yeah. gets cursed. Real monkey's paw scenario. Yeah. I put the monkey's paw scenario in the most ill-fitting suit I've ever seen in my I life. D- the like... small gym on your body. No, I was going to put it on my cat. Oh, well, yeah. Fuck it. At that point. No I was going to find a small child in my life and put it on yeah, them. But that's then it's... what you do, but then it curses the child. But then it's like one Curse of those free. things where it's like that clown movie where he puts the clown mask on and he becomes the clown. He puts the suit on and he becomes an AIDS-infested gym. Juice bumps when he puts that mask on and yeah. becomes the mask. So, but the suit is the exact same way. So he becomes the chimp? Uh, he the is child. as strong as a chimp. Okay. And he is as aggressive as a chimp. Okay. And he has twice as much AIDS as the chimp had oh, in okay. life. Now it's getting scary. Because he's got AIDS That's and ghost AIDS. <laughs> yeah. Which we all know ghost AIDS is he fucking had Completely head. incurable. Yeah. Uh, my, you, know, you suffer forever. My one uncle had ghost AIDS. He was alive. He just did some fucked up shit with unprotected with a ghost. And with a Ouija board? Yeah, he fucked a Ouija board. He put and his dick ghost through that, the, the little viewer hole yeah, thing? In the, uh, uh, stuck it into a demon dimension, came back with ghost aids. <laughs> that is how you get ghost aids. If I've seen it once, I've seen it a million times. Yeah, you know, same he old, same old. did it at Christmas. Me? Yeah. I mean, it was did too at Christmas. Tis the season. Now you have ghost aids. Yeah, I have. I gave myself ghost aids. Yeah. There's some type of spell. Well, you just I kept yawning and, and that ghost was sticking its AIDS riddled dick in your mouth. There's no way to prove it isn't happening. I know. And what would you haunt if you were a ghost mm, with a or without the AIDS? Strip club. Strip club? Yeah. Just for personal pleasure or yeah. just because fuck strippers and you can really spook them? Both. <laughs> A little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. You know how I like to you rock and roll. You can't haunt a strip club because the fog will see you in the fog. And you know. No, they'll the fog think no they joke. see me in the fog. No, we'll all know. We, it's just like, it's more it's more what realistic than when you're a living standing there. It's just a very solid like, thing. I about. look real 4K, but <laughs> yeah. in real life for some reason. I go to Tiger Tail and I'm like, Jesus Christ, is that but my slim? bottom, But my bottom half is like Casper, where it's yeah. just like a wispy ghost body on but the But it's just a wispy dig. Yeah, that's all. And, dick at that and point. then it gets hard and you're like a weird acute triangle yeah scenario. i have like a weird shape and the girls are just like oh i hate it when he sits so close to the <laughs> fog machine it's like he wants us to yeah. see it <laughs> he never has money he always pulls out his cartoon ghost pocket and says no money in hell <laughs> he pulls out his ghost wallet and it's full of ghost racks but then we can't reach it because we try yeah. to grab the money he keeps we just throw it just laughing he throws them and we try to grab the money and then we can't pick it up and he just grabs it off the stage and does the same money every night he's yeah. such a piece of shit we can't kick him out because nobody can grab him <laughs> We tried to shut down the club, and he put a curse on all of us. All the girls' hair fell out, but the pubes grew extensively faster. Yeah, it basically was the old switcheroo, yeah, it was the old which switch- he kept whispering in our ears. This is just the, the old, old switcheroo. switcheroo. <laughs> yeah, of course. You know, is... you know I'm going to be a ham bone ghost. Like, come on. Oh, no. It's in the ghost contract that you, you sign. <laughs> You can either go to hell or you can become a ghost and haunt Earth forever, but you have to make it real cartoonish. It's the old switch. You also have shackles and chains on you, of course. Ooh. And then yeah. when I'm not like looking Casperish, I've got a sheet on with the with the eye holes cut out. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, you haunt and it's just real boobies. <laughs> yeah, it's real over the top. Everybody hates it. Ooh. Like, 
it's not like even right fun. when the girls are getting good, I just sneak up on big parties and I'm like, ooh, <laughs> go away, you're in my spot. <laughs> the old haunted strip club. Uh, that's how I want to go. Haunted strip club. Suicide Rue Goldberg machine outside the strip club. Throw my corpse no, in the strip the club. No, on the stage. Yeah, on we the We just got to set it up really quickly. Because so that funny. last time when we got on stage, they were not happy. They had that Because we made so much money. That man came out of nowhere. That man was big. He was very big. Big Bigger but gentle. Me. Very gentle. A bouncer his... that kicks you out of the club by cradling you and Gent- walking you out. And then stern? they pet your belly and they say, you got to get out of here. You got to get out of here, little buddy. You better, you, better fella, you better get out of here. You're causing imagine a bunch bouncer, of issues. Every time you're doing something stupid, he comes up and he goes, hey, you got to knock it off. What are you doing? I'd be like, I'm no. going to have to get you out of here. No. Yeah, it would change your attitude. Stay. I'll be You good. would stop throwing full beers at the bartender like I you always do. refuse to stop doing that. That's my bread and butter and it's what helps me sleep at night. It's called the reverse bartender. It's when you huck a full bottle back at the bartender. And the only way to complete the trifecta is to have bartender by T-Pain on so you can go yeah. I'm at the bartender just whip it. Yeah, and then I'm just stinging Akon's verse. <laughs> go and bang bang with me. And Kurt's just on the floor like <laughs> Kurt's just passed out. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. What does this mean to you? <laughs> <laughs> um, Wonder if he'll get that. No, he won't. No, he won't he get sure anything. Won't. Um, should we talk about that voicemail we listened to? Yeah, <laughs> we probably should. So a uh, Dutch run. So a Dutch rudder is where you. Uh, I like that. That's as far as we made it. Yeah, that's all we should do. Fuck this. <laughs> Just go on. So a Dutch rudder is where you grab you grab your dick. Mm-hmm. So, so you're jerking off, and I'm grabbing your arm and making the motions. I of I am just gripping the dick. Yeah. You are doing the. Well, yeah, you're holding your arm. dick. Yeah. I'm moving your arm, so it's you jerking off. But I'm in control of the jerk off. Yeah, you're in control of the arm. And so if, you, I'm control, you, if I'm, I'm if in I'm control, I'm in control of the your, grip, but you're in control of the I'm intensity. I'm in control of your jerk off. It's gonna be real bad. It's really? gonna be real aggressive. And yeah. then when I know you're getting there, we're done. Uh, ah, yeah. you're gonna blue ball me like that? Yeah, I'm not huh. gonna let a little trickle out. Oh. Yeah, we're both going to be upset. <laughs> Why do you have to make yourself upset with it? Uh, have you seen a man just come a little bit on accident when he didn't mean to? No. Well, you need to look more. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what kind of things you're doing on weeknights, but uh, my loads are usually satisfying. My loads are satisfying. Don't put me in this group. But what are it's you other men? That why I'm are you watching at. other men have un- unsatisfactory loads? <laughs> unprotected sex, what were you going to say? <laughs> I was no, I'm trying I was trying to say unsatisfactory, but then I was thinking about unprotected sex and then <laughs> we're we're all, you know where I'm at, you know? I'm You know what I found out this week? <laughs> they make spermicide that comes in like a strip, like a Listerine strip mm. thing, and you just put it in your pussy 15 minutes before you bang somebody. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and never trust that. It's a thing. <laughs> I'm sure it's a thing. I'm not going to trust it. I'll, I mean, I might have trusted it earlier this week i mean just because you put it in your own ass is insane <laughs> but i thought it would diffuse my balls you're not wrong there <laughs> yeah tell me that the science, adds up. science the math adds you know up. the shove math a, never adds up a here. bunch of spermicide in your ass kill your own balls with it hey man we might be on to something eventually you're gonna spray enough in there that it's gonna yeah. get to the balls well i've been spraying it for a couple years if so. i spray spermicide in my prostate will it get to my balls <laughs> there's only one way to know and the <laughs> worst outcome is that you have a child it's a real gamble you know what i mean Comes, it's a big deal is it gonna but like is it gonna be raised in well i i <laughs> I was going in a completely different direction with this. No, go ahead. Let's fucking go. It's going to be raised in Arizona. Said, Is it going to be raised in Arizona? When you said raise a child, I thought you meant I was going to put so much spermicide in my own ass that I would get pregnant. Yeah, and then, like, that's exactly what I meant. Of course. It's the most logical because, scenario here. And I'm thinking, it does, does he grow in my prostate? Does he grow in my ass? Do I deliver the kid out of my ass? Does he deliver him out of my dick? Does my dick the, split open the like one a thing hot dog can, in the microwave? The one thing I can guarantee here, everything's ruined down there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. We're not coming I can, back I can this. stand behind that. No. no matter where it grows, where it comes out, everything's Every shot. Bug. Yeah. It's like when you take your car to the mechanic and they lift up your car and they just go, yeah, none of this is good. They lift you up above us and they go, none of this is good. But there's thousands of people because you're the first man to have a baby. Yeah. So, I mean, do you want the fame bad enough? This podcast would go off the charts if you had a baby because you stuck so much spermicide in your <laughs> own ass that it made a baby. Oh, that is scientific if we've ever been. <laughs> 
Uh, I'm still trusting you those could also, green strips. You could also sue the spermicide <laughs> company. Yeah, so we'd be rich this and famous? This made me have a baby. I used so much that it just created a child. A freakish child that shouldn't exist. No, an apparition in the face of God, but I love him nonetheless. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, talk about my Ottoman son now. When you shit out a baby from too much spermicide. Who's the dad? <laughs> of your baby? Yeah. I'm I'll, Me? I'll, yeah, you're the dad. And the mom? Yeah. So it's a clone. <laughs> no. Second generation you clone? going in the odd direction. Got a lot of hot takes here tonight. Of, yeah. You clearly don't know how. But if it's all my DNA will... making the baby, yeah. it's going to be just, it's me. No. <laughs> then what's it going to be? It's similar. But like, in what yeah, ways right. is it different? A lot. How? <laughs> I don't know. It's not going to come out drinking a beer and smoking a jewel. Well, no, that's what I have Kurd for. He's my little baby that drinks a beer and smokes a jewel. Are you trying to say he came out of your ass? It's, it's probable. We anyway, Dutch Rudders. Dutch Rudders. Yeah. One day we'll get through this. Is, is it, it gay? gay? <laughs> Good. I'm trying to. I don't know if it is. I feel like just. Okay. Dutch Rudder with my eyes closed? Not gay. But you're going to hear the dude, like, breathing on the side of you, like, because he's moving the arm. He's, oh, he's doing he the jerking. Oh, then who's doing the jerking? Tell me mortis. who is doing the jerking off. Another crazy machine that we've made. You're just gripping your dick. The other person I is I know doing... how it works. But I just then they want can't them be to be dead. dead. <laughs> but they can't be dead. Unless they're zombies. You want a zombie you rudder? You can't shit on someone's fetish. Uh, your fetish is getting undead rudders? Yeah. Huh. Yep. I don't like it. Pinpointed it. I, I don't like it. Hey, that's why I don't like XNXX. <laughs> not, not enough zombie runners? Yeah, not enough undead runners. Not enough old George A. Romero's, as they call them in the streets. Oh, R.I.P. <laughs> R.I.P. Yeah, he's getting some shit done doing by zombies. getting some Dutch runners. Yeah. His <sighs> heaven is just zombie sex. I feel like it's gay. You think so? I think it's gay if you have another man do it. Even though, even though... You, another... <laughs> what, are you going to have a woman do it? <laughs> That's even. I was also having this conversation this week that if a woman ever gave me a hand job, I'd probably stop talking to her. I just don't like. At, at, at this You're point, so anti hand job. It's. Weird. I am so anti. You're covering cause something gir- up because girls have mouths, and I can give myself a perfectly fine hand job. Yeah. Well, no one's getting hand jobs to completion anymore. We're not sick. I mean, like, I don't mind, like, some tugs to get things going, but, yeah, like, yours, not a yeah, hand yours job. Yours has to be tugs. It's got to be, like, yeah. rolled out lawn like mower. a garden. It's like a lawnmower <laughs> that won't start because it didn't get tuned up before the winter came. I've never been tuned up. <laughs> yeah. You're telling me. <laughs> if you were tuned up, maybe they would have found that baby in you. Maybe we could have stopped. Maybe if, I was tuned, maybe if I was tuned up, the spermicide wouldn't have made me pregnant? Are you saying this was my choice? Yes. I it's, was trying to deactivate my Obviously, balls. it's always a woman's choice to have a baby. <laughs> True. Yeah. <laughs> I will stand behind that. Uh, uh, it's it's gay. It's definitely gay. I think it's... Is it's, it it's levels? A, it's got to be on the spectrum. It's not the gayest thing you could do with another what man. What is the gayest thing you could do with another man? Please gay sex. Tell. Okay, that's it? <laughs> I mean, that's pretty gay. That's the gayest? I mean, like, I'm, like what, are you, what are we defining as gay here exactly? Like homosexual? I believe Like so. a homosexual sex act? Yeah. Then what is gayer than sex with another man? Like penetrative sex. Getting married? That's not gay. If we, you're we, gay and you're getting married to another man, we that's could a get married gay. and it wouldn't be gay. People would assume it was gay. Well, I we, think it's a assume, level. Of we all gay. know what assuming does. It makes an ass out of you and me. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really needed you for that one. Um, we are the Dapper Dads. Yeah, I think it's I think it's gay, but it's not. Yeah, it's not the most gay. No, it's not sure. like uh, it's. I, mean, def- I think it's a level. Ran- it's, it, random man I've never met. It's more uncomfortable. Yeah. You doing it to me? Less uncomfortable. I feel like or, the but only, later more uncomfortable. I, I feel ever. like the only situation in which I would give you a Dutch rudder would be like if your arms were broken, but your cast was like in the shape enough that you could grip your dick. I appreciate that a lot. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not like gonna I, let my boy not get off. Come how much on, are you I, looking? I mean, like the whole time. I would I out of respect I'm gonna look away the whole time. Really? Yeah, I, out of respect. You you're know? gonna be peeking. You're so full of shit. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna take a quick. We're both delay. gonna be peeking if you know what I mean. I mean, yeah, I'm definitely peeking. I got nobody giving me a Dutch runner because <laughs> yeah. both your arms are broken. Ah, <sighs> I'll peek a little bit. I can't. Yeah. Like, I'm just out of curiosity. If you're gonna help me jerk off my dick, you're gonna look at my dick. Of course. Well, I mean, and I was then... kind of thinking like I would just like look away and like you, you know, I hear a, and mm-hmm. then. I just meant a huge flop. Well, I go to re- but like a, yeah, like oh yeah, I know, I know what. It and so I like. go, I would go to reach over, 
yeah. for it. I might you're going to accidentally like, grab it because it feels a lot like a cast. Mm. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're grabbing it, mm-hmm. but I feel like, you know, I would I'm going like... to need someone to help me get a little hard. <sighs> Is that a third person scenario? I think that increases the gay level on it, though. If you help me get hard? Yeah. Yeah. Because if you're already hard and gripping and I start tugging, there's nothing gay about that. But if I have to help you get hard, that's a little – that's like out of 10 – uh, out of ten, I'm gonna say a Dutch you gotta rudder. Got to pull is the porn up. Out, well, yeah, I can do that. Okay. Out of ten, Still I'm gonna say game. a Dutch rudder is a one on the gayness scale. Okay. I I, I'm gonna say it's a that. one because it's, it's the least sexual gay thing I think you can do with somebody, but it is still inherently. Where does docking fall in on that point system? <sighs> what are we defining as docking here? Just the heads of dicks going, or I guess. I all. think that's a four. It's a four. Because that's that's penis to penis contact. Yeah. I think it's a five. It's right down the middle. There we go. Yeah, two penises meeting perfectly together. What about a glory five. hole? Ah, uh, but you do decide you... where you're sucking the dick. Oh, uh, that's a nine. That's if you're nine? sucking the dick, no, yeah, no. it's a nine. I Actually, that's, that's like a, a ten. If you're sucking no. the dick, yeah. So what's just sucking a dude's dick without the wall in between it? Also a ten. No. But a more intimate ten. No, a ten has to be gay. Sex. Okay, fine. Sucking a dick. If you you a man are sucking a dick through a glory hole, that's a nine. Okay, but sucking a man eight. off like face to face, like that's a ten. It's not gonna be face to face. I mean, you know what I'm saying, like like yeah, you're gonna like be crotch to face. That's a that's a ten. That's, that's a, not that, a ten. That's a ten. No, gay sex is ten. That, that it, can only be. Well, the, it's oral you said sex. Nothing, yeah, but that's not the same. It's People not the suck same. Dick for different reasons. What are other reasons people suck dick for? Money. <laughs> well, yeah, we're not talking about prostitution here. We're, ta- we're talking about a game scale. If you okay, have you ever if sucked you... a dick experimentally? No, I didn't experiment much. You I mean, ever you know sucked what? a dick really? off a of Craigslist ad? I don't want to talk about that one. Fair enough. That's um, a Patreon. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I will redo the ad. It was very convincing. I thought I was going to get my computer fixed, but I was, something got tuned up. Yeah, I got tough. a virus. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> There I got chip pans aids. Chip pans aids. Chip pans aids. Chip pans aids. Let's get busy. <laughs> showbiz. That's showbiz, baby. Chip pans aids. <laughs> there you go. We'll bottle it. it chip pans aids. Yep. Sell it for twenty four ninety nine. God, PBC. I hate that that has aids in it because it rolls off the tongue. Chip pans aids. <laughs> yeah. Imagine trying to pitch it. <laughs> Okay, we're back on Shark Tank. <laughs> no, they've closed their doors. They actually went under. No one invested. After what we they, did to Ludacris. No one invested, but they went under. As, just Lu- Ludacris got that restraining order on us. Mm-hmm. <sighs> it's it's gay. It's it's a one out of ten, but it's gay. Yeah, I can. I can. What if now? Yeah. What what if a woman gives you a Dutch rudder? What does that say about your sexual relationship? It's just weird. Yeah. It's just unnecessary. Yeah. Yeah, I can't. I can't think of a possible scenario, unless it's like those pornos. And I'm, I don't want to say it, but it seems to be more common when you're accidentally watching a stepmom porn, which yeah. isn't my thing. But sometimes you're like, she's so hot, I'm gonna try to turn like, the get sound off the and dialogue. get through it. Yeah. But then like someone's always jerking off, and then they come in and they're like, let me help you with that, and then it progresses. Yeah. So I mean, if I was like caught jerking off by not a step, like someone else's stepmom, for yeah. sure, I don't have a stepmom. Me either. <laughs> but uh. But if I did. <laughs> yeah, if I did. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, we gotta, we gotta take we gotta, Yeah, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta but, scratch uh, that. Yeah. That's weird. But yeah, anyone else is trying to be mom. an Eskimo brother with your dad? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I never even thought about that. Yeah, if it's your stepmom? Well, it's probably because she's seeing me step out of the shower. I had a bunch of sweat from my uh, happy trail down to my ball throw, and she goes, I've had the old bull. I want the young buck. And she grabs me by You've the wiener. You've said that before, <laughs> and I don't know where you got it from, oh, but I hate you it. You should know where it's from. It's from a classic movie. It's from Miracle on 34th Street. The director's cut. You don't remember? Oh, yeah. I've never seen When he jumps off the bridge and then the stepmom tries to fuck him. Is that the movie where he's going to kill himself? I want to (laughs) live. I want to live and fuck my (laughs) stepmom. Yeah, the famous quote. It's embroidered on so many Christmas knickknacks. Every time a bell rings, a stepmom gets her wings. So, yeah, if someone's, like, if I'm at a friend's house and they have a fucking hot stepmom and I'm just cranking it out in the bathroom like I do at most people's house. Yeah. And she accidentally comes and she goes, oh, my God, I'm sorry. Wow. wow. <laughs> you said that in such a way I made me uncomfortable. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. And she's though. like, I didn't know you were so, uh, what am I trying to think of? Well endowed. No, that's too, then, I'll, then I, I can't work under those kind of pressures. I know that's a lie. <laughs> 
Um, oh, you were so so like sexy. mature. I didn't know mm. you were so grown up. Oh, that sounds weird. Anyway, she comes in. She says a real good line, and she's like, "Why don't I help you with that?" And I think she's gonna jerk me off, but then she just moves my arm, and then we're both like weird. And I'm like, "Your mom." And she's and like stuff. making hard eye contact with yeah. you, but like breathing in a real sexy way. Yeah. So it's working, but it's not pleasant. Like she's moaning, like she's getting something out of it, even though you're not touching her. Yeah, because they paid her. Yeah. <laughs> it's the only time women moan for me. Mm, yeah. It's monetarily. Un- unless it's those moans of just, oh, uh, yeah. they see you coming. Fucking come on. <laughs> get out of here. We told you you can't come around here yeah, anymore. I, I hate when women say get out of here. Yeah, I hate that a <laughs> lot. They point now. <laughs> get out of here. We told you not come around this neighborhood anymore. Pulls out the broom <laughs> like a cat that snuck in the back door. <laughs> Like you're a hobo getting a pie off a windowsill. <laughs> yeah. You know how that happens yeah. so much in modern culture. Yeah, fucking stepmoms is like getting chased all the way with a broom while you're a hobo trying to get a pie off a windowsill. Yeah. We don't there's not enough pies being baked. Nowadays. Not enough pies on windowsills. No. What's in the hobo sack nowadays? You don't see it. What's, what's in the bindle? You know, is yeah. it is it still a can of beans and like, you know, a fork and some heroin maybe <laughs> yeah the traditional hobo kid yeah beans for heroin <laughs> nice little bandana stick let's fucking go let's fucking go boys let's hop on a train and forget about this old place you ever try to hop on a train i would love to but people try to tell me not to yeah because you could die we could all die i mean yeah we're all dying bitch I could jump on a train. Sometimes trains are slow. I've watched a lot of trains in my life. But I feel like trains don't, like, have boxcars like that anymore. Oh, yeah, they they do. They don't carry, but they don't carry, like, are they carrying, like, comfortable bales of hay I can lay up against? No, this isn't the fucking 20s. That's what I'm You're just in a, there's a documentary on YouTube of a guy who just hopped on trains across the country. Yeah? Yeah. He did it, and he looked like a fucking moron. So yeah, you think I can't do this? <laughs> There's a lot of moronic One things I see that I dead think we by can train. do. Oh god, I can't carry this podcast on knowing you got killed by a train. You can't carry this podcast because you don't know how it technically works. Nope, it's over. You think it's just me typing. <laughs> Remember that time you were like, "Look, I'm drumming," and you just hit a keyboard so yeah. hard, all the keys broke off. Yeah, and then it was our most successful episode. So I, I honestly can't call it anymore. Can't shit yeah. on it. Maybe yeah. I'll make a fantastic podcast yeah, after your untimely better. train pass. Well, yeah, you got to really get the sympathy. Like, for sure, if one of us died, this would, like, blow, blow up. Way up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. we're definitely going to be legends after we die. Yeah, or if one of us kills the other one, mm. I think it would blow Oh, up. yeah. Prison a murder podcast. suicide? Oh, yeah, I love a good murder suicide. A murder side? Yeah, murder side. A suicide? A suicide? Barber side? A bar- we both bar- drink barber side? Barber side? <laughs> the, the, the blue, blue stuff? Liquid? Yeah. It's Gatorade. You know it looks good. It looks so good. Yeah. I just want to drink the hair Gatorade all the time. Everything that you can't have looks good. Like what? Three quick ones. I was thinking a Krabby Patty. Yeah. Looks a Duff good. Beer. Yeah, Duff Beer looks Duff great. Duff Beer looks delicious. I'm going to go to Florida and drink a Duff Beer. It's uh, going to be underwhelming. Anime food always looks really good to me when I, I see it. I think a lot of l- cartoon food. Yeah, like cartoon food just looks good I think in we've general. we've touched on this before, but we don't have anything else going on. Nah. So, uh, it's a Friday in January. What the fuck else are we doing? Yeah, abnormally warm Friday in January. Very. It's going to be like 50 tomorrow. I'm trying to ball tomorrow. I'm trying to take my pants off in public. Me too. But Show my werewolf time, thighs. Right? Your werewolf thighs and your baby dick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to show off. I'm trying to do the transformation scene from American Werewolf in London. Where it looks real wet. I just thought it looked really good for the time. It looks good for the time, but it looks wet. I don't think it looks... He's just sweaty. You think you wouldn't sweat while you were transforming into an animal? I think you'd shit a lot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I feel like of if you because I feel like if your bones are changing, your bowels aren't in control. Like you're just oh, pissing. And here shitting. comes more science. When did you get your lab coat slim? <laughs> you know, throwing out a lot of a lot of bold claims tonight. You know, spurt enough service on the ass makes a man have a baby. <laughs> if your bones shift into werewolf bones, you'll definitely shit. I would say your pants, but they've ripped. Oh. Yeah, so you're just shitting everywhere. That poor woman's house that you're staying at in London because she took you in for some reason because your friend died. Yeah. And you fuck her a little bit. Real because you sexually. got hit by a train. Ah, yes. It all comes back You get around. hit by a train. I'm staying in. I'm staying with a woman in London. I start transforming. Yeah. Well, I you have beautiful everywhere. sex with her first. Well, yeah, of course. Do I keep coming back more and more dead? Because that's like my favorite thing. Yeah, of course you do. Well, my favorite thing in American Werewolf in London is the porno that they watch at the end. Yeah. Because it's just very over the top. <laughs> Good porn, you know, with a lot of solid jokes in it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, were- werewolf bones. <laughs> I think you'd lose control of your bowels. 
I mean, I don't think you're wrong, but it's just that poor woman. Because like you ever house. watch like those werewolf you, movies where they're like imagine. transforming and their bodies yeah, are all like fucked watch. up and crazy <laughs> and shit. Like, <laughs> how are you like and controlling? Well, like, what are you gonna do if you go to turn into a werewolf? Because like you see like their <laughs> faces <laughs> extended. So you tell me when your face bones are reforming, you're not like ugh, just like shitting everywhere. I feel like it's not like a mutual thing. I, I think just, it's more I, like I don't your think ass bones. I, well, I don't think it's mutual. Bone. But I'm saying like if your whole like, body is transformed, just stretched out right now, I don't think I would shit my pants. No, but if your whole body would. Yeah, oh my god if you were just like yeah. you would Your just teeth keep bleh. shitting them because what i always think about is like i i'm gonna go ahead and say i haven't shit my pants and like as long as i can remember honestly yeah. but uh i don't remember very long but uh people always talk about shit in your pants it's got to be like <laughs> this is just gonna get gross diarrhea otherwise you know what i mean well when i feel I like you're shit, shitting like everything separate, out yeah but it takes so it's just all it's just like everything out. you got in your system is coming out in that when moment. i take a shit it's like several smaller shits you know what i mean it's Most it's, this time it's a big shit just one big one yeah, just one big <laughs> what the fast heck? shit it just shoots <laughs> like, <laughs> but it's solid still yeah, yeah. No, it's like a goddamn log but then so then i okay i, I turn into a werewolf i shit and piss everywhere <laughs> yeah, naturally a little we've established the size. you're probably gonna puke there's yeah. gotta be blood too right yeah there's blood in your shit it's like a bucket there's yeah. so many bodily you, fluids you came like, of course yeah, yeah, your balls trained <laughs> yeah because you're Cause shitting i got a big yeah, of course i was gonna say because i have a big heroin dick but I meant werewolf dick. But my big heroin. Dick. Yeah, you shot up heroin, yeah, turned into a werewolf. That's why people can't get off heroin because it makes your dick fucking huge. You turn into a werewolf. Yeah, you turn into a werewolf. People forget to tell you about that part. Um, so I turn into a werewolf. I go out for the night. I I kill. I taste blood. I love it. Yeah. And then you in the movie, the he went back the next day and he was like locked out. And then she comes home. Does she come in and see all this? And does she go, oh, you're a werewolf? Or is she just like, what did you do? I think at first it's what did you do? Unless there is a known case of werewolfism in this town. Well, well yeah. People kept being eaten by werewolves in the movie. And she just knows. Okay. Because then it, she's a werewolf and she transforms in front of you. No, you kill her when everywhere. you're a werewolf, but then she turns into a werewolf. And she shits everywhere. Yeah, and because you, you look, come home and, and there's shit everywhere. Yeah, and, and you you're can't like, look at another her werewolf. Same. You can't look at her. Do you think you could love a woman after seeing her transform into a werewolf? Yeah. Really? Unless she shit everywhere. Well, she is. That. No, shitting, then. pissing, no. squirting, uh, okay. lactating. Now we're back in. Yeah. All right, I'm back out. <laughs> More in. Yeah. in. <laughs> Just squirting and lactating. Is she spitting, too? Does her face look like this? And she's, like, drooling? Yeah, she better be drooling. Oh, I'm all about that yeah. shit. If I'm watching it from the front, I'm hard as a rock. If I got the back seats, I'm very upset. You got the back seats. You're getting wet in the first three rows. Yeah, yeah you got to wear your poncho. Yeah, it's your werewolf poncho. Yeah. You pull the hood up, it looks like a werewolf. Like yeah, a shitty it's one. real cute. Like it came from Wish. Yeah, it's real cute, but you're like, you know, the reason I have to have it isn't as fun as this looks. Yeah. Rawr! And then you're just covered in shit. <laughs> werewolf shit. Yeah, werewolf shit. Half man, half lycanthrope shit. <laughs> I just love to think of like detectives and police. Like, yeah, there's been a lot of, a lot of people just being mauled to death. It looks like a wild wolf. A lot of human sized shits around it, though. <laughs> a lot of wolf sized shits. Yeah. No, they got to be human sized shit. I think a wolf shit's probably comparable to a dog. We shit. Ju- we tried to uh, match up the DNA from all the piss, blood, <laughs> semen, saliva, and uh, other fluid, and vomit, yeah. and everything else we found at the scene, but uh, the DNA just kept morphing under the microscope. <laughs> How bad do you think it hurts to transform into a werewolf? It's horribly Because I got growing pains over yeah, like one ima- week. Imagine like every three pain. imagine like a, every growing pain at once. Your bones are changing. Like you're, you're <laughs> yeah, like, you're really leaning into the bones. Change. All about we the bones. Get it. Well, because like you ever seen the Underworld movies? Mm-hmm. Like that's what my go-to for like werewolf transformations. Like when See, you mine is American Werewolf in London is a way better. It's a classic. Transformation. But I was all about Underworld when I was young, and so like I never I just, cared for. Oh, I loved those movies when I was a kid. But the practical effects of American Werewolf are in London much better. are unbelievable. When his hand stretches, yeah, it's fucking crazy. But yeah, that's. But I'm saying like, and you're... then he when he shits everywhere, yeah, it's fucking crazy. And the director's cut, yeah. The, the, uh, I, it's not even a cut anymore. That's just everything. That's just art. Give him everything because he keeps transforming the werewolves and there keeps just being shits like the one when they have the dinner guests and he's outside and he transforms yeah. and they get covered in shit and they go what the fuck and then they get mauled to death that's how every scene in our cut goes they just get yeah. covered in shit i would and love i mean we've put it out there before netflix i think is the move uh get in touch with us we would love to make 
American Werewolf in somewhere else because we've they've done London, they did Paris, right? Yeah, the sequel. American Werewolf in just Abu Amer- Dhabi in just America. <laughs> American Werewolf in Seattle. <laughs> yeah, it's like very specific. American Werewolf in, in Boise, Idaho. <laughs> yeah, that's the movie. Because they, yeah, that, uh, yeah. So get in touch with us. There's a lot Could of. Could we get British Werewolf in Boise, Idaho? No, that would just be confusing for the viewers and you know i don't like to i don't like to bring it up because i think it paints me in a bad light i don't like watching things with british accents mm. i don't get how crazy. it paints you in a bad light i think it makes me sound like an asshole like it's i don't want to listen to the way you speak it's just a preference whole group of people in a different part of the world everybody's got you know their little quirks yeah my little quirk is accents yeah really fucking because people will be like watch this and then i'll turn it on and then i'm just like are you fucking kidding me you're gonna talk in a british a good, accent I don't a british accent it depends there's some like, taboo is one of my favorite shows and that's got i know what a, that is oh it's very good it's got tom hardy in it you know how much i fucking love tom hardy i watch catastrophe which Never is a very it. good show you know rob delaney yeah the comedian it's him and like it's in like london because he like flies over there for work and he knocks this lady up and it's just very funny and <laughs> Yeah, they have accents, and if it's good enough, I'll deal with it. Like, the the Black Mirror's always got British yeah. accents. I still watch the new one and did all the things. How was that? <clears throat> it was pretty good. You should watch it so we could have a informed conversation about it. But, Love uh, to if I had internet. I, uh, I, I made the decision I think everyone could see me making. <laughs> I'll yeah. leave it at that. Okay. Um, but then I went through and I watched all the other ones. There's some weird ones. There's some crazy ones. It's mm. exciting. It's like, not, it's like nothing else. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like an original idea. Mm-hmm. So even if it sucks, it's still an original idea. Hmm. You, can make like them choose, you can make them choose records. Which is really? Like, yeah. There's like a lot of weird choices that I've read don't actually mean anything when it goes down the path. Mm-hmm. But uh, I really like there's like a backstory in it of like a guy who got obsessed with like the choose your own adventure shit and mm-hmm. cut his wife's head off and i thought it was real because they have like footage of it and like a, a book about his life and i was like fuck yeah but then it was fake i was oh, gonna read up on that guy yeah, i was gonna read that book like, straight yeah. down i was gonna get Choose it on your own adventure made a guy cut his wife's head off that, fuck, that's yeah. just a whole mini series yeah, in, that's in the, and of itself that's the better one yeah yeah but uh yeah, Netflix. We've got a lot of we've got a lot of ideas in the hopper. Get at us. We've got a lot of we shot, see that we a lot of shot for shot remakes for some reason. I've, I've, I've seen some into. Netflix originals, and I think we could definitely raise the bar. Oh yeah, <laughs> are you talking about werewolf shit season three? <laughs> oh, I'm thinking seasons five through seven. <laughs> no, that's when it falls off. No, that's when it really comes into its form. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> took us five seasons to get the formula right. Yeah. Really start harping on the shape. Real of all the artistic black and white shits with like <laughs> opera music behind it. Yeah, man, <laughs> Panda's the worst thing Netflix has ever. I put feel on. like that would be actually a really good scene in a movie. Somebody transforming in, in a werewolf in like black and white. Because I mean, yeah. if it makes Tumblr porn look better, I'm thinking about how wicked a werewolf and then it's just a buff werewolf be. guy and he jumps out of the window and it pans from the window down to the pile of shit yeah. but it never explains it no You're just it's like, just oh the pile. okay so i guess that means that werewolf shit themselves real artsy i think i heard this on a stupid fucking podcast i, I used to listen to remember until they kept harping on shit and then i was just like this is i'm too old for this not my fault I we're think also shit too old for this. i'm 50 yeah i was 50 that's not a good year nah bad i'm 21 year. did you hear about that guy that wants to legally change his age because he feels discriminated against how old is he 60 what does he want to change it to 40 <laughs> which yeah you think you'd go yeah like way younger yeah he's saying there's a lot of ageism he can't buy a house like he can't get a house when he's 60 because they're all like you're gonna die soon i guess is the thing Weird. that old people deal with i guess but a lot of people a lot of 60 year olds probably aren't buying houses but yeah. yeah, I guess it's harder to get the loan because they don't think like a thirty-five year mortgage. Mm-hmm. You're sixty. You know what I mean? Yeah. Eh, we're we're getting close, and no one wants to just say it. But I mean, I'll start a realtor company where I'm just like, you're gonna die. Buy but a we, house. Yeah, but you rent an apartment from me. Under the condition that we get money from their life insurance to pay off the rest of the house. Yeah. Well, I think there would be a debt. And, yeah you know oh we'd come we, calling oh yeah we, we would we'd be we knocking would, with we, goons yeah we would quickly show up to the children's house and be like sorry for your loss where's the money at yeah <laughs> when i worked uh for a popular cell phone company customer or like technical support but occasionally customer service you'd get people who would call to cancel their uh deceased loved ones uh phones and uh we have to have a <laughs> proof proof 
<laughs> any sort of proof, whatever you want. You know, it could be an obituary, it could be a certificate of death, it could be like a couple fingers we'll take. Whatever it you is. You want to tell? I can get you a tell. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tells are more because they're. And I was always like, they'll be in the cast. Like yeah, you're just, fucking just, being just, weird, bro. Just, just come on, Give me like you're, I want a big tell. <laughs> you're making this weird. <laughs> yeah. Not me. I'm sorry for your loss. Uh, I'm sorry all for of your my loss. But why aren't you doing loss? what I want yeah. you to do? I'll love you if you do this. Yeah. Take a tell. What you do? Garden shears. It's quick and easy. Just real quick. When nobody's looking before, you know, the whole funeral starts and everything like that. You, you just go up and you take the garden <laughs> shit and you just give him a you just give him a little snip. Yeah. Just a big toe. I'm not being greedy. He can have the rest of his little piggies. They can all go to the market. I just need that big piggy. You want to, do you understand? This is me? why your dad's in hell. Because you won't y- listen. Your dad is going to burn in hell forever <laughs> unless you go desecrate his corpse and give me that big toe. Yeah. And surprisingly, people are not thrilled about even without asking for the toes yeah they're like i'm just not gonna do that and i'm like i just totally understand bro i just yeah. have to read this thing you think i want you think i collect obituaries i do but that's not my off hours <laughs> i don't talk about my home life at my job i keep my business and my personal life yeah. separate even though they tell me to use a lot of empathy and relate to the customer yeah. i'm not gonna tell you about my obituary collection my obscure obituary collection i'm like peggy hill if there's a funny comical death then i collect them Pe- peggy hill this has all been about shit and death, I think. Is that right? And a little bit of jerking off? Well, welcome to winter. Yeah, it is hard to be... Uh, sunny and optimistic in the winter. Well, would you say we've ever been sunny and or optimistic? I am. <sighs> I fucking hate you. I love you too, buddy. I hate you and you're ruining the podcast. Yeah, well, I've been doing that since day one. Yeah, and now it's... We didn't even say it. It's episode 75. Yeah. It's oh my why god. And say it cuz it feels it old. Old. We wouldn't be able to get a house. Uh if so you were to so, legally... ne- so next episode is going to be episode 40? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if you were to legally change your age, which they didn't approve that, of, of course, cuz that's insanity. You, you literally can't do <laughs> yeah. that. That's literally... They were like that would change your You're like You're still going to die in, like under the time yeah. it would take to do and, a 35 year mortgage. And the guy was like I'm fine with dying. Obviously this doesn't change anything. I just want people I want to be able to say I'm 40. What? Like, so you can lie to girls on Tinder? That's what I thought it would be a lot. I think he was just like got a good angle with the house, but uh I think he just wants to fuck girls and he's 60. Yeah. But I mean, don't even Who fuck your girls. I mean, what would you change your age to? <laughs> You know, age is fluid for me, so I can't answer this. But I'm curious as to what you would like to be. 15? I think you should be 15 just for shits and giggles. So people are like, there's no way that guy's fucking 15. then I can't go to the bar. Just go to the bars that don't cardio. Because they'll be like, there's no way this guy's fucking 15. What if you went to a bar? Let's get fake IDs with comically young ages Mm -hmm. and go to bars and see just what they say. I want an ID that says I'm 11 (laughs) and just give it to a bouncer. Because they would have to be like... like 2006. (laughs) Yeah, they would have to be like, there's... You look young, because I was going to say 16, but people still say I could pass for 16. No, but you could not pass for 16. So many people tell me. But all the auditions I go to for the cool skateboarding kid commercials and the toys, they're like, you seem way older. Yeah, because they see that belly, and yeah. then they see your pubic jungle, and they're like, there's no way that kid's That's 16. not a 16-year-old pubic jungle. And I say, well, you got me there. <laughs> I turn into a werewolf, and I shit on the floor. And then you run out. Yeah, no, I just You hit him with the Dapper Dad's dash. Uh, but yeah, let's get like a little baby license. I just want to yeah. see what people would say. Cause okay. You know, imagine if you were a bouncer and you like do the thing where they look at you and they're pieces of shit anyway. <laughs> it just says, yeah, 2006. And you're like, wait a minute. Is this your ID? And you're like, yeah. yeah. So you're 12? Yeah. Um, you don't look 12. Well, uh, I feel like that's kind of a discriminatory statement. A lot of to hormones make, okay. in food now. Yeah, have you eaten you McDonald's recently? You're old. You ever have McDonald's fries? They stay in your system for a year. <laughs> yeah, you ever leave them on your counter? They stay there for a <laughs> year. year. Last time I had McDonald's was six years ago. I still got fries on my counter. They look identical. <laughs> yeah. We were talking about this at work today because... Uh, one of my coworkers was talking about how bad they want McDonald's, and I was like, you know, when they they uh, they'll just like put McDonald's out, like they'll just unwrap a hamburger and leave it out, and it'll stay that way for like yeah, a year. You know do that, right? Because they want to ruin your fun. Yeah, but then why is McDonald's so readily available? Because everybody eats it. Because it's fucking really good for a little bit. Fifteen minutes. Yeah, so you got a fifteen minute window where it's heavenly. Like I would fucking smash some nuggets and a disgusting burger with too much pepper on it right now. If they still had snack nice. wraps, I would have never left. If I could get vegan food that tastes just like McDonald's, I would get it. Yeah, it's called McDonald's. No. 
uh, there's enough other things besides meat in it that you'll be all right. <laughs> You're it's not like six percent meat, ninety four percent. That's still like eight percent more meat than I want to be eating. So you're trying to eat negative two percent meat? Yeah, I so don't know if that's right. I'm trying to eat Is so this many veg- again. I'm trying to and eat so many. When are so we going to stick to our several years ago resolution to stop doing? Math I just want you to know thing. when you what resolutions have we ever stuck to? I stick to all of my resolutions. I don't believe that for a hot minute. Yeah, I said this year my cock's going to get bigger, and I wasn't wrong. <laughs> it just depends on when you look at it. Just because your dick's bigger when you're a werewolf doesn't mean that it's bigger. I mean, it's all the shit out of my body. This is sad. Eh. A sad excuse for a podcast. Listen, folks, it is what it is. You still listen to it. You still love us. You still give us $5 a month for Patreon, where we've started to put all the good shit. Yeah. uh, So you don't have to deal with this so much. Um, But yeah, tell us what you think happens when you become a werewolf. Uh, <laughs> uh, go to com. you can anonymously submit there whatever you want if you give us more submissions like last episode we don't have to do this for an hour and a half deverydadspodcast at gmail.com if you're going to email us whatever the fuck we asked for earlier pubes pubes yeah email us pubes uh, you can mail slim pubes in the mail he'll give you his address mm-hmm. contact 4027 dapper that's 4027-327737 Ask for Slim's address. Don't tell him why. He's gotten shit in the mail, so it can't be worse than that. Nah. Do they have werewolf shit through that company? Mm, more than likely. All right. I really want to know who sent me that shit. Yeah. It, it really wasn't you? No, I swear on everything. It was not me. I would have I would have for sure owned up to it. You've known from my pranks that they I can't last long because <sighs> I enjoy I enjoy really It's bad. just the timing of that I know. was so I know. I think that's why we haven't gotten it. But you're over it now, so if someone was to come forth and say it, you would be I'd probably kick him in the ribs to be well, honest. Well see, I was trying to have you not say that, so maybe someone would fess up. Then you can kick him in the ribs. I don't care. <sighs> I just want to know. Yeah, I just I wanna also want to know who did that to me. Because I feel like there's, I, I don't know, like <sighs> not that many people that would mail you literal shit. Uh, if you're but a new, it if, if you're a new listener <laughs> yes. that has lasted this long into this episode and didn't hear the episode, yeah, if you haven't heard, I, I on the day on the day I was dumped, he was divorced. On the day I was divorced, served papers. I was served papers for my divorce, and uh, someone sent me. So yeah, maybe this is why I think you should be able to ship beer and cigarettes because I got shit in the mail, and if I got shit in the mail, why do I have to sh- ship beer and cigarettes? Because we were talking. Oh, to- ship. ship! I thought you said shit. I was like, I shit beer. No, and I'm occasionally talking- like one cigarette. I think butt. that you can ship beer because I was shipped shit. Shit doesn't have an age restriction it should it's I inappropriate mean, yeah, you shouldn't be mailing children shit but I no mean, one should be mailing shit i i don't agree with that i think <sighs> it's funny i think it was badly timed i did not have any part in it i wish i did honestly well i would have felt I'm bad always going to be very suspicious i would you. have told you look at all the pranks i've done to you just in recent history i yeah. told i tell you that basically the night of or the day after or at least within a few days but i, feel I can't like this sit is on a, something like that but if th- i mail this shit is, this every would be day the I would longest be like, con yeah and i don't have long cons yeah. all of mine are very short i have long, I cons, have long cons but i get like i get too excited about the outcome yeah. so i'm of course like i did it yeah if i mailed you shit you would know i wish i would have mailed you shit just not on that day i want to know who did it so bad yeah, I just don't under. We need in to reinvestigate. In 2019, we're going to find out who mailed me shit. We need to reinvestigate this because <laughs> it's genius. It's poorly timed. What if you hadn't been dumped and someone mailed you shit? Still be shocked. Yeah, it's shocking. Pretty mad. But you would have found more humor in it? Yeah. Yeah. At the time, I would have. Yeah, because I remember exploding on everyone that was in the room when I opened that. <laughs> I mean, yeah. You exploded this shit because you frantically opened the package. Well, because I just remember opening it and I'm just like, I didn't order anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if I had mailed you shit, I would have done something to be there when it arrived because I would have had to see it. I don't like the pranks that are just like, they're fun, but I want to see it. You know what I mean? I want to be there when somebody catches them. I'm going to find who mailed me shit. 2019 yeah. is going to be the I think year. we can narrow this down. I don't know. like I don't know how, who though. had Who had your address? Who, you know what I mean? I lived there for like a year or so. So like a year's worth of people that came over to the house and knew me and knew where How I How many people? Just ballpark. <sighs> 50 people? Sure. 
Let's say 50. We can narrow that down. You got to look then at who would even think of mailing you shit. I bet a lot of people are out. Probably my ex-wife's friends or something. Yeah, that's what I would think. Or maybe she's just so evil that on the day she served you papers, she made... Like, she was she had the papers, of course. She's been playing for a while. Things yeah. were rocky for a long time. You're telling me. A long time. You're telling me. Oh, it's so rocky. Yeah. Um, and not the good And then rocky. she was like, she checked the mail. She seen the package. She knew what it was. She served you papers. And then she was like, get the fucking mail, bitch. Why, on your way out, pussy. She was very rude like that and then you yeah you got the shit too it was perfectly timed yeah yeah that's yeah that's pretty much how it went because she was like okay get out and i was like i'm gonna check the mail and see if i got anything before i go and i did and there was i mean in a, in a certain, i had forgotten about this until you just brought it up i want you to know that i don't even remember bringing it up i thought it just came up organically I it did you, i thought you yeah you said it i wouldn't have said it i forgot about it too in a certain light, it is the perfect timing, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, and like so that real... was God telling me in that moment, you're yeah. getting kicked in the balls. Yeah. And so you, this is why you can't love so much, because people send you shit in the mail. Mm, it's okay. I hate a decent amount. No one does anything to me. Eh. I'll give you my address. Everybody. I can't hate him for sending wanna... me shit in the mail. You said you'd kick him in the ribs. Yeah, I didn't say I hate him, though. That feels hateful. Mm, it's more aggressive. It's more of a revenge thing. I don't know. Someone fess up to, uh, if you fess up, Slim will not assault you in any manner. If you fess up, I'll shake your hand. That's yeah. what I'll do. We're very I'll, proud of you. I'll, yeah, I'm very proud of you for doing it. I feel it. like it would be a listener. I just don't know who. But how would I they have, have gotten have my, my address? You throw your address out all the time. I do. Yeah. It's not like hard to get your address. Nah. So, we'll figure it out. 